Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my family and friends. And yes, I did say family because wallah, I feel like we created uh, a family, you know, like the, the, the Donatelli family, like Sanchez, Sanchez or like the Istarabadis, I'm Istarabadi, you know. But we've created uh, the Al Anti family with all you viewers. And now, you know, before we even get to talk about anything, I just want to give a huge shout out to whoever, whoever is tuning in to tonight's episode. Because tonight's episode is a bit sad and happy at the same time because you get to know what you do. Anyways, before we jump into tonight's topic, let's go see what's trending in today's world. Let's roll. Yeah, now tonight I'm sitting down. I'm not standing up like the usual. You know, we try to change things up. Uh, give a new look to uh, every episode uh, but we would like to inform the entire world that uh, Ayatollah Sadiq Hassan Ashrazi has been released uh, after 13 days of being detained uh, and uh, Sadiq Hassan of course he's the son of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Ashrazi uh, so we do thank all the supporters who supported the campaign uh, to release Sadiq Hassan finally he was released thank you very much everyone for uh, protesting uh, for his release. Now, today is a very special day. Today is St. Patrick's Day. And you know, we're in Karbala, we're live. We're trying to celebrate that. And we're trying to celebrate the birth of Imam Al Jawad alayhi uh, salam. So we, Imam Al Baqar, sorry, my bad. Imam Al Baqar alayhi uh, salam. So we do congratulate everyone on that. But since uh, they coincide, we're trying to. Uh, you know, celebrate both uh, and St. Patrick's Day with a few jokes, you know, trying to get you uh, to laugh on this holiday. Uh, now, the first joke that we have for you guys, and you know, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Uh, the guy who pre prepared this is, uh, isn't a comedian. I just throw that out first. Uh, but yeah, why do frogs love St. Patrick's Day? Because they always be wearing green. <laughs> LOL! <laughs> Oh, we got the loads back. All right, that's good. Uh, now, how can you tell if a leprechaun is having a good time? Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm going to give you like five seconds for you guys to think. Uh, I think the five, se the five seconds are done. He be doubling over with laughter. LOL! Yeah. That's not funny. That's actually not funny. Uh, but yeah, knock, knock. The last joke for tonight. Knock, knock. Do you guys say who's there? I'm just waiting. Yeah, all right, who's there? Irish, Irish who? I wish you a happy St. Patrick's Day. You know, like lol. Irish. Yeah, lol. Yeah, like Irish, I wish. Lol. Uh, but anyways, yeah, all right, enough with those coffee. Coffee means enough. Anyways, let's go to a short break. I'm back to talk about tonight's topic, quick. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you, inshallah, are enjoying your night. And of course, you're enjoying it because you're tuning in to hashtag LNT, the late night talk. LNT right there, hashtag LNT, the late night talk. A lot of people were asking, what does hashtag LNT stand for? It stands for whatever the stable is saying. It's saying the late night talk. L for the late, N for the night, and L for the talk, or T for the talk, sorry for the talk uh, yeah but anyways um, last week on episode 9 of hashtag LNT we spoke about polygamy now uh, tonight's topic uh, is what comes after uh, polygamy uh, you know don't get confused uh, uh, polygamy or either if you're married to one uh, but you'll get to know what tonight's topic is in a few moments so after getting married uh, especially to you know multiple wives you have uh, multiple children uh, of course you know because you'll be getting that work done um, and everything goes okay inshallah uh, however at times children sometimes are unwanted uh, and you know you try all the contraceptives uh, but that warrior still reaches the blessed and glorious destination uh, if you know what I mean you know that wink wink um, so that lone soldier still gets there you know, fights his way through. Uh, but the, the couple then encounter a huge um, 
a huge decision to make, whether to abort the baby or let him live and deal with the consequences. Abortion. Abortion is a huge deal. It's a huge um, topic that uh, it's, it's been debated for years now. Uh, now, we're talking about deliberately killing um, an innocent life, or are we actually killing an innocent life through abortion? Does the unborn baby have the same human rights as the born baby, as, as the born child? We'll discuss that uh, throughout the show, inshallah. Now, there are two sides to this debate. Um, now, there self-described we have the pro-choice movement and we have the pro-life movement now the pro-choice gives the the the, the woman um, the choice to make that is the, the the choice whether to keep the baby or abort it and then we have the so it's, it's totally up to the woman uh, to keep the baby or not and then we have the pro-life and it's, it's self-explanatory uh, pro-life uh, you give the baby the right to live uh, just like any other human being um, and basically uh, to live inside the woman um, that person the pro-life uh, they believe that that thing as a lot of people are calling it that thing because it's not a human yet uh, as they're saying still has rights uh, and right to live just like anyone else now tonight's question my dear familia tonight's question is is abortion a human right right there is abortion a human right if you think yes let us know and if you think it's not also let us know and let us know why of course pick up the phone right now dial the whatsapp number shown right now plus nine six four seven seven four oh six seven eighteen thirty six the guys are on dot today i don't have to count down i don't have to you know wait for five seconds they're on dot today they're showing you everything ready to go but anyways, yeah, pick up the phone line. Um, the, the lines are on. I, I just complimented you guys. Uh, no, but good job. I'm kidding. Good job. Um, yeah, pick up the phones uh, and let us know what you guys think about tonight's topic. Is abortion a human right? You think it is? Pick up that phone. Call that number and let me know what's good for tonight. Let me know if you guys are against abortion or you guys for abortion. Um, and you can also uh, tune in to the live stream we have on Facebook. Um, uh, actually, yeah, there were technical difficulties. I just got the news right now. Technical difficulties. We do apologize for all the viewers who were tuning in on Facebook. Uh, inshallah, we will not have uh, those issues anymore in the future. Uh, but we do apologize for not being live on Facebook and other media platforms. But, B-U-T. Let's go to a very, very, very short break. And then we'll come back to talk about tonight's topic. Welcome back, dear viewers. We are live from the holy city of Karbala. And the lines are now open. You can call us at plus 964-774-067-1836-1836. Uh, let us know what you guys think about tonight's question. The lines are open, so you guys can call us. Is abortion a human right? If you think it is, let me know why. If you think it's not a human right, also let me know why. So we can get to know your opinion on this topic. Uh, and I know that this topic is very sensitive uh, for some uh, because everyone has a, a, a different uh, circumstance than the other people. Um, so they will look at it in a different way. But also let us know in what way you guys think uh, abortion is or should be a human right or is a human right or it isn't a human right but today's topic is uh, you know ev everyone knows this today's topic is one of the most discussed uh, and one of the most questioned topics in today's society now abortion is one of those issues where it polarizes opinions and many people have strong feelings uh, for it or against it now, a lot of people may not know this. When they go protesting, um, pro-choice, so the woman has a choice uh, to abort the baby. So they're, they're basically saying yes to abortion. They don't know that um, abortion affects the woman a lot. 
Um, I'm not saying that it doesn't affect the man as well. It, it affects him, but not in a, not the same level as it's affecting the woman. Um, you know, th th there was a survey that was conducted when I was studying university. We had to uh, look at a few uh, surveys in psychology, and we saw that the, the, the woman who gave abortion or her, they, they went through with the operation of abortion, they were surveyed after, and they found out that uh, the people doing, the conducting the survey, they found out that the woman goes through a mental problem, a psychological problem, and a physical problem. And after they felt the feeling of regret, uh, and uh, you know, they, 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 because they always think of that, you know what, that baby that we just you know, aborted uh, could have um, had a huge impact, a, a positive impact on uh, the family's life, but yet uh, they chose to abort that baby. However, one of the main psychological or philosophical arguments against abortion is the status of the fetus. Many people argue that the unborn baby is a person and should be afforded the same rights as a born child, as the same rights that me and that I and you have um, in this world. They also argue that the fetus should be entitled to the same rights as anyone else, uh, anyone else especially the life, uh, the, the, the right of life. But we do have a call from, so we do have a call from Zakaria Abbas from India. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to hashtag LNT. And tonight's question is Should abortion or is abortion a human right? Wa alaikum salam rahmatullah. Okay. Well, I would like to frame it in a better way. Okay. I would say access to safe abortion is a human right. Mm -hmm. you know, so basically, what happens is the child of a woman makes an independent decision regarding abortion to violate. Okay. When I speak about human rights, it's like empowering a woman, a clean woman to take her own decision if she wants to end her pregnancy. Mm -hmm. But I don't entirely support it. But there are situations where I would like to uh, emphasize the law of my country, India. Yes. So this is law for medical termination of pregnancy, which was established in 1971. Yes. It states a few clauses. Mm -hmm. And that is when women whose physical or mental health was endangered with the pregnancy that's been born, mm -hmm. and women facing the birth of a potentially handicapped or malformed child, and more importantly, a rape victim. Also, the pregnancies of unmarried girls below the age of 18, and pregnancies in lunatics, consent of a guardian, mm -hmm. and obviously the most common is that is the result of failure of sterilization. This law specifically states that after the week, after the 20 weeks of gestation, women can terminate the pregnancy. Anything above that is violating the law of the land, where the pregnant woman will be charged, the family will also be charged for working as a woman. Yes. Um, now, um, I would like to emphasize yeah. on the rape. Yes, go ahead. There are so many pregnancies are unwanted. Not even the, the wish, the... You know, the, the woman who doesn't want to get pregnant and she gets raped. Yeah. And then I would say that yes, of course, she has given the right to terminate that pregnancy. So I think there are some conditions which very debatable topic. But up to the law of the land, I think we should be given a right to terminate pregnancy. So as a doctor, these are my views. I'm not sure how it is in the Islam field and how deep the topic is discussed. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think a lot of girls have destroyed their lives because of unwanted pregnancy. Yes. And that's my view on it. Yes, thank you very much, uh, Brother Zakaria, for calling us tonight and sharing your opinion. Um, and it's it's nice that we got a, a viewpoint of a doctor. Uh, and uh, you know, once again, we do thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, obviously, the, the the people who have the professions of uh, being a doctor or a person related to this uh, can uh, explain this subject more. Inshallah. Thank you very much once again, Brother Zakaria, for joining us tonight now uh we were talking about uh the rights uh or the, the people who are pro-life uh for this topic now pro-life basic it's it's, it's self-explanatory that means they are uh for they are against uh, abortion because they're saying uh, as i was uh, explaining earlier that um the the, the, the fetus uh the baby um the person 
if I shall say. The person that's in uh, the womb of the, uh, the, the, the mother um, is or, or has rights and, uh, to life uh, and should, as they state, it must be allowed to have a future and gather experiences as it progresses through life. And we all know that life consists of uh, activities and experiences which are unique to each and every individual. Um, you find people who are, uh, you know, have hobbies in sports, have hobbies in sciences, nerds, uh, you know, uh, in school. Uh, these guys have their activities and experiences and e each one has a different one. But abortion would deprive the unborn child, the, uh, the, the unborn baby uh, of the, uh, of, of, of these uh, experiences, uh, which in my opinion, I think it's, it's totally wrong. But these pro-life compare it, compare abortion to the premature death, where the person is deprived of living fully and having a meaningful experience, existence, uh, as they state as well. Now, another reason why people uh, feel strongly against abortion uh, is that the fetus has no say um, in this matter, uh, where, you know, uh, once I seen a meme uh, in high school, I was writing an essay uh, on abortion, um, but m my teacher said to change the topic about the abortion because there, al there were a lot of issues raised uh, at that time due to the rise of the number of abortion in the United States. Um, so I had to change uh, the topic. But in my research, I wasn't like halfway uh, through the essay, uh, you know, the, the research shows, uh, you know, and, and, and I see in a meme where um, the, the fetus is inside the, the, the mother's womb uh, and it's, 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 telling, uh, it's, it's telling the entire world, it's like a bubble coming out of his mouth and it's saying, I'm a person just like you, why do I have to die? Um, now, that really shocked me uh, at that time. I, was, I wasn't that old, but, you know, I got to understand um, how cruel abortion is. Anyways, um, now, uh, they, they, they called him the silent victim. Um, this silent victim who, you know, has no say in what's going to happen to them. Although there are so many rights uh, that he should be entitled to. But we'll talk about those right after this very short break. Uh, so don't go away. Ten seconds. You can count them down. Ten seconds. Let's go. Welcome back. I do remind everyone to pick up their phone calls and let us know what they think about tonight's topic. Is abortion a human right? Before this like 10 second break that we had, a very short break uh, that we had, we were talking about um, is, a, is, is abortion a human right? We were talking about some statistics because you know me, I love statistics. And you know, we gotta, we gotta show the entire world uh, that you know, hashtag LNT uh, know what they're saying. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, uh, there are a, a, a lot of uh, calls that are coming in. We do have a call from Hussein from Iraq, okay? Salam, I am Hussein from Iraq. Regarding tonight, the uh, of abortion, either from it being religiously for it should not occur anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. This is a, a human's life. We are a king here, not an end. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, I agree with and that. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, now, uh, for the viewers, maybe just in case there was a connection problem going on. Um, so, uh, Hussein's viewpoint uh, was uh, that uh, through abortion, we're killing a human life. We're not killing an ant. Uh, it shouldn't occur anywhere in the world. Um, so, that was the viewpoint of uh, Hussein from Iraq, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Uh, and in our opinion, and in in in, in a way, he is right. In, in a way, in in all ways, uh, he he he's right in in this matter. Uh, but uh, if we were to continue uh, talking about this, and uh, one more time, we do remind everyone uh, to call into the show tonight uh, and let us know what you guys think. The number is shown below: plus nine six four seven seven four zero six seven eighteen thirty six. Uh, we just have a, we just uh, received a message from Abbas from Iran. Uh, now, uh, there is no justification for abortion 
it should not be tolerated as it is basically like killing an innocent baby. Um, yes, thank you very much, Abbas from Iran, uh, for that comment. Um, now, we, we are getting a lot of people. Uh, see, this is a topic where, uh, you know, in, in Islam, as we'll get to talk about uh, other religions, it's, it's uh, a bit sensitive uh, to a lot of people. Uh, and uh, there, are, there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, ways uh, to, 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 to look at abortion um, through religion and as well through law, which we'll get to see. But the British Parliament passed a law in 1967, uh, the Abortion Act, which made uh, the procedure legal up to 28 weeks decision. But the law did not uh, you know, extend to North Ireland, even though uh, it is a part uh, of the United Kingdom. Uh, and, and you know people were against that but anyways um, so uh, until the decision uh, by Belfast judge abortion in uh, North Ireland was legal uh, only to save the life and health including the mental health of a pregnant woman or girl these who performed the doctors who performed the procedure of abortion um, without that legal um, excuse uh, had to face life in prison and the patient can be sentenced uh, up to 14 years behind bars now on november 3rd 2017 despite pleas uh from more than 100 governments and pro-life organizations including the united states and poland the u.n human rights committee has excluded unborn children from the right to life in international law we have a map to show you um the, uh, the the abortion laws around the world uh, now th now the map shows in america canada and most europe and asia abortion is legal on demand in the uk india and australia as well as some other small countries uh, abortion is legal for rape maternal life health sociological socioeconomical factors and or fetal defects now looking uh, to what basically conquers most of the world in the navy blue, uh, or you know the, the the bluish purplish color right there, um, South America. So South America, Africa, and parts of Asia, ab Asia, abortion is illegal, with exception for marital, maternal life, and or health. Now, this is what the problem is. But we'll get to talk about more and uh, look at uh, the other moral issues that we have uh, regarding abortion. But after this very short break. Yeah, so we do have a couple of minutes to the end of the show. We do have uh, approximately nine minutes uh, to the end of the show. We do remind uh, everyone to uh, call in uh, and let us know what you guys think about tonight's question. Tonight's question uh, is, and we just had, uh, we just received another message uh, from Ragat from Morocco. Uh, I think that abortion should be legalized because women technically own the baby and it is up to her whether or not she wants to keep it or abort it. Thank you very much, Lakad, from uh, Morocco for letting us know uh, uh, about your opinion. Uh, but at the end of the day, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Uh, thank you very much, Lakad, for joining us tonight. Now, uh, abortion is essentially a moral issue um, that a lot of people uh, are protesting uh, for and against abortion. Um, now, concerning the rights uh, of the fetus uh, and the woman's rights over her own body, as Ragad just mentioned, um, the debate has become a political and a legal issue. And some countries uh, with anti-abortion uh, campaigners seeking to maintain seeking to maintain abortion laws, while abortion rights campaigners seeking to repeal and the easing of such laws of abortion. Uh, and access to abortion. Now, abortion uh, laws uh, vary considerably uh, b between uh, jurisdictions. Now, ranging from out, uh, outright uh, probation uh, of the procedure to public funding of abortion and availability of safe uh, abortion also varies across the world. 
Now, religion plays a big role uh, when it comes to today's topic. Um, if, if we were to look at some of the world religions that are uh, predominant in the world today, uh, if, if we were to look at first the, the, the church in England. Uh, now, the church in England is opposed to abortion. Uh, on, on moral and theological grounds, but still admits uh, that there are a few cases whereby abortion is allowed. Uh, these include the risk on the woman's life. If there's harm on the woman's life, uh, the Church of England uh, do uh, accept uh, abortion to be performed. Next, we have Catholicism. Now, Catholicism also opposes abortion, but there are some Catholics uh, who are pro-choice and see abortion as a, as a right to um, any human because we all go back, uh, it all goes back to his or her conscience. If we were to move on to Judaism, in Judaism it's also, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's also opposing um, uh, abortion and also, however, it, it, it goes back to uh, the danger. If there's danger on the mother's life, uh, the woman or the girl's life, uh, then abortion is allowed. And in Hinduism, in Hinduism, um, all of them are opposed to um, abortion. And of course, similar as to the other one, uh, to Catholicism, Church in English, uh, in England, and uh, uh, Judaism, if the woman's life is on the line, then abortion is accepted there. And last but not least, we have Islam. And for those who don't know anything about Islam, I you know go to Wikipedia or somewhere, or tune into hashtag Galanti and watch the show, because we're talking a lot on the show. Uh, so I do remind everyone uh, to call in uh, about tonight's topic: Is abortion a human right? Before we talk about the view of Islam, is abortion a human right? And let's see the question one more time before we end the show: Is abortion a human right? Do let us know at this number shown right now, plus 964-774-067-1836. Thank you very much for showing, that, uh, for showing us the number. Now, Islam, just similar as the other religions before it, also forbids, uh, for, forbids uh, abortion. And there are certain exceptions uh, where it's permissible. Um, if there is danger on the mother's life, uh, similar as the other ones. Now, we saw, and you know, uh, to, to conclude the viewpoints of all religions that we talked about today, um, all of them do have the same viewpoint. If there is danger on the woman's life, then abortion is allowed. If there isn't, and we're just, ha you know, having abortion, um, you know, just like that, uh, just because I don't want the baby, uh, or I'm, I'm too young to have a baby, then there is a problem, you know. But if you don't want the baby, you know, you can uh, just go you use a, a contraceptive. Uh, that that word just lost my mind. You can go use any contraceptive uh, that would work for you. Uh, but you know, I'm 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 just kidding. Uh, you know, let's uh, let's make <laughs> let's make the world more filled with the Shia of Ahlul Bayt uh, So right now, we're, we're, we're ending the show right now. So you can go and increase. Uh, so one recommendation for the end of the show. You know, since it's St. Patrick's Day and since it's the birth of uh, Imam al-Baqar, we're in green and, you know, start increasing, if you know what I mean. And, you know, the lovers of Imam Ali need to increase in this world. So what you guys do, Turn off your TVs right now and go increase. <laughs> All right? Now, thank you very much for tuning in tonight. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Deuces.